Hello everybody, you know what time it is. It's Wednesday, so nice to have you again. And if this is your first time, where have you been? Hit the subscribe button so you can see more of me. So let's get into this video. So this video is my hover camera video. I have to say hover camera because a lot of times when, I mean, I remember when I told my sister I got a hover camera, I didn't say the camera, I just said hover. And then she thought it was the one that people, you know, walk on and it just moves you. So this is the hover camera. And when I got it, I couldn't take the unboxing because I traveled and I was really busy. So today's a review. I'm going to tell you guys the things that I enjoy about it and the things I don't like. So this is how it comes in a case like this, really heavy. And then this is the box where the hover camera is in, really light, really, really light and nice. And inside we have two batteries, yes, which is really cool because you charge them. And if one isn't enough, you use the other one. So let's see the hover. The hover comes like this and it's pretty light, which is a pro. And then you just open it, connect it to the app, which you connect in your phone. You have to download the app and then you connect it and then you can film yourself. So this is really cool. You're going to see footage in the video showing you when I use this. Now I've told you one pro, it's light. The second pro will be um, that you can film yourself alone without someone doing it for you, which is also good if you don't have someone to help you. That's something that is nice about it. The thought pro is it's not so tech tech. So it works with the light or whatever the climate is. It will give you good footage as three pros. Now the con for me is when it's windy and you're filming, it, it, it gives you like wobbly, shaky footage. So that's not cool, you know, because nobody wants that. And you have to cut that out. The second one I don't like, the second um, reason that it's not cool for me is um, if you're filming, because it works with natural light, when it's dark, your footage is going to be dark. So you have to film when it's pretty sunny, I guess. Yes. And if you're going to film with lights, you know, if you're doing a 360, because it has like different um, ways that it film. It can film you when you're cycling. It can film you up bit and 360. So if you're filming 360 and it's dark and you pull lights around you, that's going to show and that's going to look really weird. And I think the other, I think that's it. That's actually the, the things I don't like about it. It's wobbly and it's dark and um, yeah, that's it really so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys can see some of the clips in this video just to show you when I use them I actually love it I don't regret having it and I'll see you guys next week Wednesday thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and I love you but God loves you best